I don't know about you, uh, but this is a tough time for many people. We feel tired. We've been battling this pandemic for a while and we had the optimism of the summer and uh, things seem to be going better. But now we have the winter coming and the guidelines back again. Uh, so it's going to be, I think, a difficult time for many people. Uh, I've seen online that those people who manage crises as part of their job, uh, they talk about the six month point being a really difficult one for many people. It's like a barrier, like a wall that you have to push through. Everybody seems to be getting tired about the same time and fed up with what they're going through. Maybe that's us now. Brené Brown is a writer that I admire and uh, she has podcasts and videos. She talks about the problem of day two. She says that when she leads conferences, often for business leaders, day one, everybody's excited. They're pleased to be there. They want to learn new things. Day three, they've got their certificate, they've learned new things and they're ready to move on into the world. But day two is always a bit of a drag. People are tired and they kind of don't really want to be there and they can't quite see the end yet. She talks about pilots who are flying planes and uh, when they leave the airport, they, they've used up uh, so much fuel that they can't turn around and go back to that same airport. They reach the point of no return. They have to push through to get to the final destination. Again, maybe that's like us now. She also talks about stories and how most stories have three acts. Um, act one is where you meet the characters and learn the rules and set up a problem. Act three is when the characters have learned something and the problem has been resolved and the story ends. It's act two, it's the middle act of the book or the film or the play where the characters have to do real graft and the writers have to get it right. And the characters often have to have courage and vulnerability uh, to push on through to the end of the story. So maybe that's where we are. Jesus says, blessed are you who are hungry now for you will be filled. Blessed are you who weep now for you will laugh. Some of us feel hungry. Some people we know may be weeping. And the promise is for the future. You will be filled and you will laugh. But Jesus says, there is something for you now. Blessed are you now. Um, what is it that God is showing you right now in the day two time, uh, which can help you to grow in your faith? Number one, why not give thanks? Make a list of the things that are good already, how God is already blessing you whether it's home, family, church, community, there are things that are precious to us and that maybe we can see. Number two, what is God changing in you that will bring about growth and transformation in your life? More trust in him so that the end of the story, whenever that might be, will be even better than the beginning. Just a few thoughts.